Hello and uh, a very, very happy Christmas to, to all of you. Thank you sincerely for, uh, for, for tuning in. This is going to be a, a fairly brief brief session, but I thought it was appropriate that we we just give every, everybody the opportunity, uh, if you want to chat in and, and say uh, happy Christmas to, to everybody, it, this, is, this is the opportunity to do it. And uh, in, in between, I'm just going to play some, uh, some Christmas carols or Christmas uh, appropriate Christmas songs. We're really fortunate because we actually have um, three that we have uh, have not used before, and that's that's really great. So uh, that's what we're going to do, and I'm going to include the uh, the poems. Merry happy party and joy. This is Rose, by the way. She does exist. <laughs> and I'm not ready properly yet. <laughs> yeah, you haven't got your, you haven't got the thing in. <laughs> no, took that out. <laughs> Uh, she's been hovering around the door. I think, well, what the hell's going on there? Uh, yeah. So, um, so please, please do just uh, just chat. It's just just very informal, and I will play some some music for us. And 
uh, appropriately, I want to feature the the poems that were written as well throughout. So it's it's about half an hourish. So um, so just enjoy. So uh, so thank you again for taking some time out of your morning to to, to tune in. I want to now leave you with um, "Away in a Manger" by by, by Sheila. So so enjoy. Away in a manger Away in a manger No crib for a pet A little Lord Jesus Laid down his sweet hand The stars in the bright sky Look down So thank you for uh, thank you to Sheila for for actually doing that for us. That was that was lovely. Just wondered what uh, what Father Christmas had brought everybody uh, th this year um, in this socially distanced year. Lots of hand sanitizer, I'm absolutely sure, and a bulk pack of a uh, face mask would, would would be absolutely appropriate. But did anyone get anything sort sort of meaningful? I I actually did. I was uh, I was very fortunate that uh, I got my my brand new toy. Which I which I have here. Which I found at the bottom of the sack. So all I'm gonna do now is, is, is learn to play it. All right, so j just to clarify, it's actually not a guitar, it's a mandola. So uh, I will be having some fun with that. All right, I'd like to feature now the poem by, by Suzanne that we had in the, in the, in the concert, and that was uh, Christmas Past, because it's so appropriate and really summed up my Christmas, uh, you, know, you know, certainly. Um, so enjoy. This is Christmas Past by Suzanne Powell. Of Christmas Past. Memories of Christmas past I now try to recall. So many long gone by, it's hard to remember them all. Advent Sunday was for us the start of counting down. Mention Christmas any earlier, it was sure to bring a frown. My birthday in December, exactly three weeks to Christmas Day, sometimes a treat to Santa's grotto meant he was on his way. On Christmas Eve, an old-fashioned stocking placed across the bed. Don't forget the carrots, so the reindeer could be fed. Now, what was next? A glass of milk and a proper homemade mince pie. Santa won't come down the chimney if his treats he doesn't spy. Anticipation building and excitement rising fast. I can still feel them when I think of Christmas past. 
wriggling, tossing, turning, but finally deep sleep came. I did not feel the stocking relayed upon the counterpane. Waking in the morning as day left the night behind, feeling for some presents, what was I going to find? Gifts given in those days were far less extravagant, but delight showed that the pennies were always well spent. The offerings were never frivolous nor large in their size, but each one wrapping torn off felt like a wonderful prize. Down to the stocking, searching, what else is there to be found? There it is, right at the toe, an orange I'll be bound. I did not get sacks full of presents in those days long ago. Today, my grandchildren, having so few, would be full of woe. But memories take me back to that special time when life seemed so much more simple and easier then. Throughout the years, as time has passed, Christmas joy has come and gone. Each one was different in its way, lovely moments to ponder on. Now we are fast approaching this latest Christmas season, so I hope that it will be met with goodwill and good reason to spend it with our loved ones in the very best of ways. I wish you all the very happiest and light-hearted of Christmas days. One, two, three. We three kings of Orient are Bearing gifts we travel afar Field and fountain, moor and moor Oh
Well, oh, just before I play the uh, the poem from uh, from from Brenda and Paul, just wanted to uh, thank Chrissy for for recording um, recording that for us, and we've got another one coming up uh, coming up in a, in a moment or two. So, uh, what's everyone got planned? You know, what what's going to happen on this on this unusual day? Now that uh, most of you can't. Uh, um, can't meet up for for a number of days. I, f- I assume some of you have got uh, days planned with, with family. As I say, uh, we're not in that sort of, sort of position because all, all of my immediate uh, sisters who are live fairly close by all have uh, you know families which uh, are obviously quite rightly uh, that they will be spending Christmas with. Um, I have a call booked um, from Germany immediately after this from uh, from from Kate and and, and Chip and uh, we're looking for looking forward to that but otherwise it's going to be uh, it's going to be the two of us and we're going to make the make the best uh, that we can so i've certainly got my um my mulled wine uh, which has gone cold now but uh, but i have my mulled wine and uh, my my special treat which I'm allowed to have a have a slice of, which is uh, which is Rose's lemon drizzle cake, courtesy of Sheila. So uh, thank you very much. It's it's delicious, and uh, that's what I'm having for breakfast. So hopefully uh, you are all sorted, and it will be unusual but memorable. I'm I'm absolutely sure, and maybe it'll be sort of closer to uh, uh, how Christmas should should actually be. Uh, to be honest, and hence the reason why I wanted to actually share some uh, some carols ro- rather than just some Christmas song- songs with you. All right, so this is uh, this is the poem that we uh, we 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 shared out called "Winter Lights" by by Paul and Brenda. That's Paul and Brenda Spencer, by the way, just in case you uh, you don't actually know. Let me put that up so we don't miss anything. Winter Lights by Paul and Brenda Spencer. The winter lights in Sogolamassi are now switched on, I see. In a normal year, I would shout, mid November, that's far too early. But in this year of doom and gloom, I think we can all agree that hope is represented by coloured lights around the tree. Shining in the dark, purple, blue, green, and white, bringing thoughts of happiness with every speck of light. Now we've seen the festive lights, it's bells I'd love to hear. From Diwali through to Christmas to ring in a better year. Again, isn't that fantastic? We're we're, we're blessed with some uh, very, very creative people, and that again to me. Uh, as I said the other day, just epitomizes Christmas. Once you see all all the lights, etc., going on, it becomes magical, and especially if you if if you're a bit of a kid as well. So, um, okay, well, well, hopefully, hopefully you have got got today sorted. See, that's the, that's, the, that's the main thing, quite frankly, and it's nice to see that uh, we've. Uh, fortunately, I did actually record the concerts, so that is up there on on YouTube. If you've not seen and you want to see. That, that of course it's available now. I did notice that there have been uh, a number of uh, number of viewings uh, for it. So so thank you very much if you're sharing that around. Uh, that's the name uh, name of the game. And also the individual songs now are are available to you to uh, to obviously uh, share with your family. Perhaps people who um, family and friends who don't ordinarily know exactly what uh, what you get up to. You know, uh, in the comfort of your own house over over the past uh, nine months or so. So, so it's great to actually have those uh, historically recorded, and that's one of the bonuses, of course, from uh, from what we've been doing. Something that we would never have done w- w- was to actually sort of uh, record things for, uh, for for posterity, and be able to share them around uh, around the world, really. So, so who knows? From 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 small things, m- maybe maybe we'll get more and more more views from them. They they certainly deserve it. All right. Uh, I want to uh, just uh, just feature now Chrissy again, and this is while shepherds watch their flocks by night, or as we used to say in school, while shepherds wash their socks at night. Very irreverent, but uh, it seemed to fit. The 
One, two, three. Christmas 2020. Christmas 2020 won't be like any we've seen before. No huge family gatherings or carol singers at the door. We've just to make the best of it. Enjoy it, don't be mean. Until the spring rolls round again and with it a vaccine. You can't fly off to warmer climes or hit the snowy slopes unless you want to quarantine for weeks with other folk. Unless you're in a bubble, you might be eating on your own. But at least you can please yourself doing what you want in your own home. If you do go Christmas shopping, please don't forget your mask, your sanitizer and several pairs of gloves. It's really not much to ask. Keep your distance two metres apart or is it one? I'm so confused. Or I'd better buy another bottle. You can't have too much booze. It's only for five days that you're allowed to mix with kith and kin. And that will all change, no doubt, as we ring the new year in. But have the best time that you can. Stay safe and have some fun. And let's hope Covid's dead and gone by Christmas 21. All right, uh, wasn't that great? That's two offerings from, uh, from, from Chrissy there. Whilst shoppers watch their flocks or wash their socks, and Christmas 2020, which again is it just just really sums sums up this year. So I'm pleased to have those have those recorded as well. All right, as we come to the end of this f fairly sort of brief uh, interlude, I wanted to really uh, it's me being selfish really. I wanted to maintain that we had actually um, streamed uh, every Friday since since we went into uh, lockdown and we started up the started up the streaming so just keeping that 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 tradition going so that's uh, that's partly what it was all about but mostly it was actually to say uh, thank you to everybody out there uh, thank you for tuning in this morning that's really appreciated and the opportunity to say uh, have a lovely uh, and happy christmas however you're going to celebrate whether it's going walking, whether it's with grandchildren, uh, whether you're in a bubble or whether you're on your own, whatever way you're you're actually doing it, ha have a lovely Christmas. We're, we're thinking of you. We know everyone else is uh, is thinking of everyone else. 
So thank you. Look after yourselves. We're going to go out with, uh, with, with, with Silent Night. Uh, and then oh come all you faithful, but I won't I won't come back on it. I won't sp won't spoil anything. So have have a lovely day. Oh.